Hi, I'm Dr. Shweta and uh, I'm the Managing Director of Janista Fertility Centre and Hospital. Janista is a fertility centre which is located in Basveshwar Nagar, Bangalore. There are a lot of speculations around the baby is born after IVF, whether they are normal, they are not normal, what are the abnormality rates, what happens you know, during pregnancy, what is the effect after birth. So these are the questions which generally, uh, suppose if I, was, I were to be undergoing IVF probably, then I would have thought about it a million times. So when we visit a playground and see plenty of children playing there, can you identify the child who is born from a normal pregnancy? And can you identify a child which is born from an IVF pregnancy? We really can't differentiate between these two. But then now when we are towards uh, the assisted reproductive technologies, uh, we are going against nature. And definitely we have to, uh, you know, it is not as normal as the regular pregnancy. But the difference is, the abnormality rates in regular pregnancy is about 4%. But when you do IVF, the abnormality rate in the babies is about 8%. So the rates are not like, you know, too high for people to think about it. And secondly, uh, people feel that you know IVF babies or the activities may not be that good maybe the IQ level may not be that good but then there have been studies there have been follow-ups done from the IVF uh, born babies and they are on par with the normal uh, children who are born out of normal pregnancy and uh, uh, the recent thing is about autism I think there are few papers which came up saying okay IVF increases the risk of autism and then uh, things like that but uh, uh, when we look back the previous papers and so many studies which has been done autism risk is not related to the IVF babies IVF as such the pregnancies because you know they would have had some intrinsic issues and that is why they wouldn't be able to conceive on their own but then after doing an IVF definitely there would be little more chances for miscarriages more chances of uh, you know uh, uh, developing sugar that is diabetes and hypertension and sometimes preterm deliveries so these are the risks which are associated with IVF little more than the normal pregnancy in normal pregnancy probably all these risks could be about say 10 percent in IVF pregnancies it could go as high as about say 20 percent so the risk is there but it is marginally high than the regular pregnancy it is not that it is exactly dropped two times or three times more so IVF is one of the safe method to have pregnancy and once you are pregnant it has to be monitored in a proper way to have an ideal outcome.